song is Rest in Peace, and we don't, I don't know that I usually play it when we come on shows, so it's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. It's a little something different. We usually, you know, lead with the singles or whatever, but uh, cool. It goes like this. All I wanted was a million dollars. I messed it up. I said I don't play a lot. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. It's funny because when we, I, you know, normally play that song, the bridge part of it, Josh usually sings. So it's kind of, sometimes when I'm playing it, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> See if I can remember right, how that, how that, that part though. goes. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You can tell his voice. I mean, you know, it just. You know. Yeah, we try to, uh, you know, as a as a band, we're really vocal heavy, like harmonies and stuff. I mean, the guitar, you need a few lessons. Uh, no, I mean, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> no, but I mean, honestly, even when, you know, when I started with music and stuff, I just wanted to be able to write my own songs. How long have you been playing? Oh, guitar. Counting the last five minutes? Uh, yeah, about, yeah, 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> now, I think I picked up the guitar in, like, 2000. Six. That's not bad. Somewhere, somewhere around there. And then when I when I picked it up, I really was just interested in trying to figure out chords and understand 
understand the progression so that I could write melodies. And it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, I can tell you. I, I've actually tried to play the guitar a little bit, and I had one of the best guitarists ever try to teach me, and I was like, after two minutes, I realized that wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of the, if you can, what I always tell people is, if you can get through the frustrations of the, the first whatever it is month or so where it's just trying your fingers hurt and you're trying to get the chord shapes if you can get through that to where you're actually you know playing the progressions and stuff it it comes along after i never that. made it that far i gave up on it after about five minutes <laughs> yeah. is uh, guitar the only instrument you play yeah it's the only one that i mean I, when i was younger i played drums like i took actually took drum lessons and stuff like that but the issue that i had on on drums is perhaps the opposite of what it is on guitar where they would write out the drum music in like a lesson you know atmosphere and you'd have to learn different beats and in, in different whatever it was and it got to the point where i didn't really i i was losing interest in the drums and becoming more interested in in playing the guitar and so I wouldn't really practice and I would just come in and look at the piece of paper and and Speak. and play it right um, well, but more more girls like guitar players than drummers <laughs> anyway right so. um, but then with with drums like I tried to play in a in a band and I was never capable of of like being creative at all with it. It was more like I could play the beats and that was fine, but I could never be creative. Where with guitar, like I don't, I don't read music. I don't. Really? You yeah, can't I read don't. Music. It's more just. Just feel. Yeah, it's the. Wow. The exactly, and that, and that's that was sort of the difference. Where like I and I've had situations where people have put down, you know, the chord charts and stuff, and I just kind of look that, at that, it. That's and, a talent you know, because you know. I can tell you very few people that I know of, you know, can actually just pick up an instrument and play, you know. But there's. There's one in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame that did that, and uh, Jeff Cook from the country group Alabama, but he is so talented. He had a dream one night he could play the piano, and there was a radio show, and he said, I can play that thing, and they let him <laughs> up there, and by God, he could play, and they asked the parents, said, well, when did he start taking lessons? He said, he never had a lesson. Wow, yeah. And then they said, can you play anything else? And he picked up a guitar, could play it, and just run on down the line. I mean, it was just crazy, but... Like I said, he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and you know, I mean, they try, try to show me a couple of simple chords, and I'm like, <laughs> I wasn't cut out for this. They weren't so simple. No, I mean, <laughs> they looked it, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like I can sing a little bit, not too good, but <laughs> I can't don't, play the. No. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> uh, do you do you do any covers? We have, and then that's part of it is because I don't, I don't mean as a band. I mean, do oh, you? like me personally, not a lot, and a lot of it is just because of the fact that I don't. I don't read music and I don't necessarily know if I look something up and it says, well, here's the, the chords and it's written out in a chart or anything or just the letters. A lot of times it doesn't mean anything. To Are you me. like me and dyslexic or you just can't read music or you just, I just don't, don't take the time to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G? I can... I can read like if you give me like a clef with like the notes and stuff What's I'd have it like <laughs> <laughs> but I could like identify I remember like I would do that because I went to school for theater so right. you'd have to learn some songs right, for you know, classes no, no, yeah and saying. like picking out a melody I and stuff music, okay? yeah it was an easy elective in high school yeah but what but as far as like if somebody says all right we're gonna let's play the song you know it starts and, on and, this and here's where it goes B minor or yeah it, it honestly doesn't it doesn't register you don't it doesn't, what they're talking it doesn't about. mean much to me I'm you, you start playing they no, dude, it's lower. <laughs> <laughs> right. And we and we like as a as a band, we've had a few shows where they've wanted a certain amount of covers, and you know we've just kind of had to to Do you learn. Just them. practice people, and they say higher, lower, or whatever, or just you come natural, or you have an ear for music. Would you say or? Yeah, I mean, I'm always one to kind of downplay a yeah. lot of things and go, I don't know, I just now, pick up the guitar and I play some question. stuff and put some melodies over it. Key question: You ever had a lady that asked you to serenade her a little bit, play her a little something? Sing a little something soft. Turn down the lights. Oh, I don't. I don't know that I've actually had that particular situation. A man. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, I do. I don't know why it reminded me of once I was. I was playing by myself long before the band back home in Buffalo. Easy. This sounds like a Pee Wee Herman story. And I, no, I play. <laughs> I was playing I, by myself. <laughs> but I. I got done playing at like a bowling alley or something, and I went into the bathroom and some guy followed me into the bathroom to tell me that I had the quote voice of an angel oh, and I was like I think I need to get out of the bathroom right did now did he put his hand on your shoulder <laughs> it was just from behind we're gonna do this in B minor <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to music and, and, and songwriting and stuff it to me all I feel like I'm doing is just pick up the guitar where and do your lyrics come from your inspiration like life event stories or you just you know 
Yeah, yeah, that's I mean, that's exactly what it is. When I was motivated to write songs, and and this again is why I think I come in from the angle that I do, where I just wanted to put my own words down. It yeah. was something that I was thinking of that was either bothering me or whatever, and I wanted an outlet for it. Yeah, uh, I remember growing up, I had a friend that was. Uh, really great musician still is a really great musician and he would write songs and I remember one time him saying you know some situation that he was in and he said well you know what? I'll get a good song out of it and I kind of thought well that's that's cool you can kind of take something that's negative or whatever I can and relate. spin it you know so for me picking up a guitar it wasn't about wanting to learn specific chords or specific things. it was just just give me this thing that I can have an outlet to say what I, whatever it is that I want that I want to say no that's really cool you man. know that's that's the angle that I come at songwriting I would be like heavy metal though It'd be something like, bitch, I hate you. <laughs> you ran out my credit cards. <laughs> you stole my car. That's like uh, the, the comedian Sam Kinison has a Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. He sits at the piano and he sings like a, a song. <laughs> yes. yes. I want my records back. I want my yeah. records back. That, yeah. That's very funny. I love that song. People ask me like. I've never heard it though, but it is funny. Oh, it's great. When people ask me what. You know what? What inspires you, or what songs, or whatever? You know, a lot of times. Well, a lot of times I go to comedians because it, it's that's oh, wow. it, for me. It's like you're you're taking something that's in your head. You're trying to put some. Spin well, you know, Larry on it had a number one there. hit. Oh yeah. I, I can't get over you to get from under him. <laughs> <laughs> I remember like Ben uh, Ben Folds, a musician that I like, and they asked him that same question. He said, "What's on your iPod?" And he said, "The only thing that's on my iPod is like Andy Kaufman right now. Wow. It was so, a comedian." You know? Here it is. Here's Sam Kinnison. Well, it's such a special night, it's our last show, that I thought it was uh, appropriate to do a love song. I wrote this about this girl that I met about five years ago. I was going to come out with some money, you know, and try to live out here for a while, and... Uh, I met this girl and I wanted to impress her, you know, so we went through all my cash in about a year. <laughs> then one day she said, you know, Sam, it's, uh, there's something missing from our relationship. I said, uh, what well, would be the cash by any chance, wouldn't it, honey? 